Attention! All the news in this video I have collected from the internet, we deliver you the most realistic news also make sure to read the subtitle. Arsenal have announced Emil Smith-Rowe has put pen to paper on a new long-term deal to end speculation about his future. Smith-Rowe had entered the last two years of his previous Arsenal contract and had attracted big interest from Aston Villa. Arsenal turned down two bids from their Premier League rivals, even rejecting £30 million, and have been working hard to secure Smith-Rowe's future. Mikel Arteta's side have finally got Smith-Rowe to put pen to paper and have even rewarded the youngster with the number 10 shirt for the 2021-22 campaign. As we all saw last season, Emil is an intelligent player with excellent ability. His sharpness on the turn and exceptional vision have already made him a key player for us, Arteta told the club's official website. His attitude and willingness to learn have also been very impressive. Huge credit to our team in our academy, who have given Emil a great education and have worked superbly to help with his development through the age groups. Congratulations to Emil Smithrow on receiving the number 10 shirt left by Ozil. Wishing he's all the best and success in the new season. Joe Willick remains Steve Bruce target as Emil Smithrow commits to Arsenal. Newcastle United are hopeful Emil Smithrow's new contract at Arsenal might accelerate their move for Gunners teammate Joe Willick. Newcastle have approached the Gunners over the availability of Willick, with manager Steve Bruce saying he would keep badgering away over a player who impressed him last season. With England youth international Smithrow committed to a new five-year deal at the Emirates on Thursday and will also take the number 10 shirt formerly worn by Mesut Ozil. It is an opportunity for Newcastle to get Willick's signature due to both playing in the same position. Willick scored eight times in 14 Premier League appearances under Bruce and set a new record by becoming the youngest player to score in seven consecutive games. The seventh of those goals also equaled Alan Shearer's mark for goals in consecutive Premier League games for Newcastle. Jack Wilshere, surprised by Mikel Arteta's treatment of Gabriel Martinelli at Arsenal. The 20-year-old was sidelined for nine months after suffering a knee injury but returned to action last December. However, Martinelli was unable to secure a regular starting role under Arteta despite Arsenal's struggles in front of goal. Martinelli will miss the start of Arsenal's new Premier League campaign as he is with Brazil's squad for the Olympics in Tokyo. But Wilshere has backed the forward to make an impact when he returns to Arteta's side. I was surprised at times when Arsenal needed a goal, they needed something and he wasn't thrown on, Wilshere told Highbury squad. He is that type of player who can do that. He arrives in the box. He always seems to be in the right place, at the right time. You cannot teach those things. I feel he will only get better with experience of playing in the big games. I do think he is a player who will thrive off having the fans back. The fans getting behind him and pushing him on. I remember the game at Chelsea when he scored that goal. He just got better and better as the game went on and the fans got behind him. I am excited to see more of him this year. Hope Mikel Arteta will give Martinelli more chances to play for Arsenal in the next season. Arsenal must sell first if they're to land Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham. The Athletic reports the deal will take the form of an initial loan with a £40 million obligation to buy clause included. Arsenal would pay a large chunk, if not all, of Abraham's £80,000 a week wages during the loan. But Arsenal will only complete a deal for Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham, if Alexandre Lacazette and Eddie Nketiah leave the Emirates Stadium this summer. The Gunners are interested in signing 23-year-old England international Abraham, who has fallen dramatically down the pecking order at Stamford Bridge. Manager Mikel Arteta is an admirer of Abraham and it has been Arsenal's intention to bolster their strike force for several months now. Former Arsenal midfielder Danny Ceballos suffered a nasty ankle injury during Spain's opening game in the Olympics. The 24-year-old delivered an impressive display in the first half of Spain's match against Egypt, but shortly before half-time the midfielder was forced off after Taha Mohamed stood on his ankle. Ceballos was able to hobble but the Spaniard's left ankle quickly ballooned with severe swelling. 
Ceballos, meanwhile, spent the last two seasons on loan at Arsenal but the midfielder will not be spending a third stint with Mikel Arteta's side. Real Madrid have yet to make a decision over Ceballos' future but Real Betis have expressed an interest in signing him. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe to my channel.